What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Jets franchise. And if the question of the day were to happen to be, did I reset the Jets franchise once again? Because the answer is maybe. The answer is yes. Um, basically, moral of the story is playing on PC was just pissing me off. Uh, you guys know how those like opening sort of cutscene moments that show you like players jumping around doing animations and stuff. Um, and anytime it would show like player stats on the screen and things, my PC would just want to have a stroke. I'm not sure why, but, um, between that and accidentally pausing the game all the time, uh, and not being able to call a timeout on my controller with the PS4 controller, uh, I just decided executive decision, another one just to go ahead and make the switch to Xbox. So no more issues. Everything is going to be fine from here on out. Um, we're good to go, basically. So, you know, I should have just started on Xbox to begin with, but, uh, you know, I I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're here in week five. We're taking on the Cardinals at home, coming off the win against the Broncos last week. Uh, by the way, if you guys do enjoy this video at any point in time or my channel in general, the series, you, you know what I'm talking about. If you want to hit the like button, that'd be great. That would really uh, help me out. Um also, if you guys are new, definitely hit the subscribe button as well. But uh, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into the game. And you know what? I gotta, I gotta admit, I'm a slightly annoyed because there's already one or two bigger guys on YouTube than me doing a Jets franchise. And now, from the looks of things, I think C4 is also doing one now. And I'm like, dog, why? Why you gotta pick my one team? Um, but anyway, here is what I'm talking about. Anytime these things would come up on my PC, it would just, it would be horrible. It'd be dropping frames left and right. So now we get to look at fireworks and team walking out and such. So real close up shot of Sam Darnold's face. That was cute. But, uh, yeah, team's getting hyped. So we'll see what we can do. I did actually play this game once, uh, on the PC league and... That was prior to me deciding to make the switch, but uh, that was, oh my God, that accuracy. Yikes. It was quite a shootout. So we'll see if we can repeat that performance. Hopefully not. It was a little bit uh, nerve wracking, but here comes Kyler Murray. It probably should have looked at his stats, but it is what it is. So I think I'm going to start playing a little bit more man coverage just in general, because zone seems to not work in this game. And... CPU running game is also a little bit OP as Kenyon Drake gets the first carry of the game, getting four yards. So we're out in man again on second and six. And Kyler Murray is going to hit Christian Kirk, who makes a hell of a catch over Brian Poole. Already on our half of the field after two plays. It's really not a good start for our defense. So after a kick, uh, quick pass to DeAndre Hopkins for... 15 yards, uh, just forgot to talk. They're still moving the ball pretty well. Kyler Murray's just hitting these quick throws. And that uh, fairly deep throw to Christian Kirk definitely put him in good a good spot. So let's try to get some pressure on him. He's really just, I mean, he's getting the ball off quick, but uh, really hasn't had any kind of pressure yet. And man, that could have been, <sighs> that's just a missed opportunity. We could have had a pick. But DeAndre Hopkins, I think, also had a chance to catch it, which was strange. We're going to send some pressure again on this play. And CJ Mosley almost gets there. But he gets it out uh, in time and hits his tight end for another first. So they're in the red zone already, which isn't great for us. We're going to switch it up, go zone here. See what we can get done, if anything. And going to throw it short to Kenyon Drake and a big hit there. Who was that? I'm not even sure who that was. I'll be honest. I'll be totally honest. This looks like a run, so we're going to sell out. We're going to uh, definitely imagine it's going to be a run, and it is to the right side. Kenny Drake breaking a tackle inside the 10. That's one thing that is definitely accurate to the real-life Jets is our, <laughs> our tackling has been pretty rough. So another run for Kenny Drake, and he's going to get tackled down at the 1. God, man, our run defense is not looking good. 
All right, big play here from the one. Got man coverage on the goal line. Make a play. There we go. Steve McClendon. Oh, my God. C.J. Mosley's hurt. That's not good. That's really not good. But you know what? He's not playing this season anyway, so <laughs> it is what it is. But uh, from the two now, I believe, another big stop by Jordan Jenkins. That'll back it up to the two. And it's going to be third and goal. And C.J. Mosley is going to be out for the game with a high ankle sprain. Hopefully that's not going to keep him out too long. We're going to have to have Jordan Willis come in. Oh, don't do that. We have to have Jordan Willis come in as his replacement, which is a massive drop-off, obviously. So another big play here on the goal line. And Avery Williamson. And who is number 30? Is that, that is Bradley McDougald. They combine for a big stop there. So it's going to be fourth and goal. They're going to settle for three. And after that drive, honestly, only a field goal is kind of an accomplishment for our defense. That was not a great drive. So here comes the offense and Sam Darnold after the touchback. These are his stats uh, so far through the simmed four games. Um, not too bad. Definitely not too bad. The <laughs> Obviously, once again, the pick numbers are lower than they would have been in the original franchise. But uh, we're going to start it off on the ground here with Le'Veon. Try to establish the run game on our first offensive possession here. And we're going to go up the middle. Cut outside and he catches the edge. Gets about 16 yards on our first offensive play. So we're definitely setting the tone there a little bit. Let's see if we can recreate that. Actually, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's uh, run a play action after that really good run on first down. And we're going to hit nobody. It's Sam Darnold just with a terrible throw. Looking for Denzel Mims across the middle late. Can't get it there. So it's going to be second and 10. Really don't want to run right at Chandler Jones. So I think we'll stick with the screen pass. In classic Adam Gase fashion, even though he's no longer our coach. And the change of direction in this game, man, it's pretty rough at times. Got a little shafted on there. Could have gotten another couple yards, but it is what it is. Third and five. I do like this double move, actually, with Rashad Perryman on the outside. We'll see. Oh, my God, Sam with another awful throw. Good God, man. We're going to have to punt. That was horrible. Pretty good punt from Braden, man, though. That's nice. Get him down to the eight. So... Good spot for our defense to start from, but uh, pretty disappointing first drive from our offense, that's for sure. We're going to come with some pressure here on first and 10 from the 8. See if we can get to Kyler Murray. Obviously, that's not an easy task, especially when he gets the ball out that quickly to Larry Fitzgerald for a first. And Ron Leary's going to come back. So, oh. oh, God, I do not want Greg Van Roten in the game, that's for sure. Going to have to change that. Press the wrong button on that one. Let's uh, use our Quinn in here. See if we can get some pressure with him. They're going to run a little end around. And he's going to lose three yards on the play. So good on Brian Poole for seeing that and stopping it. Oh, my God. Wide open. And he steps out of bounds. He could have had a first there probably. But third and eight. Lucky break for our defense there. Uh, we're going to go man, I believe. Yeah, we'll go man here. See if Quinnen can get some pressure. He cannot, but Avery almost did. But he gets the screen off to Kenyon Drake, and he just keeps going. Finally tackle him down up to the 46. Kyler Murray, already 9 for 10. From midfield, now they're going to hand it off to Drake, and he's only going to gain a couple. Stay in zone here, but I think it might be a run, so... No, nope, it's not going to be a run. They are going to give it a Drake, though, and I whiff. Oh, my God. I am selling so hard. That's unfortunate. Up to the 37. I That was horrible on my part. Went for the hit stick and clearly should not have gone for the hit stick. And another just great throw to Christian Kirk, who Blake Cashman was covering. That's quite a mismatch. We're going to run commit here. Don't know if it will be, but it kind of looks like it might be a run. And it is going to hand it off to Drake. Gain one. Brian Poole with the tackle. So, 
Our run defense seems like it's getting slightly better, but Kyler Murray's still dotting the hell out of us. So let's see what they do on second and 10 from the 17. Um, obviously, defense not in a great position again, and that's just unfortunate. Just unfortunate by Bless Austin to whiff there. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins is going to get in for a touchdown, so they're going to extend their lead. Going to be 10 to 0 here at the start of the second. So we're going to go back to the run here, uh, see if we can get anything going. We gain a couple there. Byron Murphy with the tackle definitely had that pretty contained. So I pressed the wrong button, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we're just going to roll with it. We're going to run this little play action pass here. We'll see. Probably going to look Brashad Perryman, but uh, let's put Crowder on a slant just for another option. And we will look for Crowder. Let's... Oh, that was a tough catch into double there. So it's third and eight. Uh, we're looking Crowder. We might look Perryman on that out route. Let's actually put Mims on a slant just for another option there. Let's see. Oh, we should have probably taken Crowder a while ago, but he makes the catch. Up to the 45. We finally get some... Uh, get a good play on offense. We haven't... That was our first actual... Good play since the first run of the game. Speaking of that run, we're going to go right back to that same play call and gain a few on first. So we got second and seven, two tight ends on the field. Uh, let's take a look here. We're going to hit Chris Herndon, who gets up. It should be third and one. Got to go slants on third and short here. Looks like they're going to run commit, and they do, and Crowder is open. Can't escape Byron Murphy, though. I mean, he is pretty quick, but... Wish he would have been able to get away there. Could have been an easy touchdown. So after the first down, we'll go back to the ground here with Le'Veon to the left side. We're going to cut back up the middle and gets a first. After a big hit, too. Good run from Lev. Keep it on the ground once again here with Le'Veon. And we're going to hit that hole up the middle. Truck him, man. Ah! Can't quite get there up to the two-yard line. First and goal now. Oh, I like this a lot. We're going to have to see. I don't know who that is on the right side, if that's Patrick Peterson up at the line. But Chris Herndon on the short out route looks juicy, and it is touchdown. There we go. There we go. I was a little worried on that touch pass, but he came down with it, so good for Herndon. We're going to put up some points finally. It's going to be 10-7 to 7 after the extra point. So our defense back out on the field now. Five minutes to go in the second already. This game feels like it's flying by. And Pierre to see with a pick. Could be a pick six. Can't be. Christian Kirk catches him, and he's going to be tackled at the 24. But, man, what a start. <laughs> what a start. That was our only play on defense. What a play. From Pierre to see you there. After that touchdown, our offense is right back out on the field in great field position as well. So, oh my gosh, man. Who was that? Who was that? Who's my left guard? No, that was Connor McGovern. Connor McGovern, you got to get there faster, dude. You've got to make that block. Going to cut it back right. And good run from Le'Veon there. It's going to be third and two on the 16. We're going to go for the slants once again. And this seems to be a good play here for third and short. We're going to hit Crowder there. There we go. Get the first. First and goal from the six. Knocking on the door again. I don't know how I feel about this pitch to the left. Honestly, you got that man wide out there to the left side. But we'll give it a go. And this game feels like it's flying by. Makai Becton with a decent block. I just didn't uh, didn't get to the right spot there on the ground. But this game really feels like it's flying by, man. Anyway, second and goal from the three. Chris Herndon might actually be open again. But uh, we'll try to actually go through some progressions this time. We'll see. And he is going to be open. Chris Herndon with the second touchdown of the game. Maybe he'll get a breakout next week. I don't know. That'd be nice, though. That is for sure. We could always use some more dev traits, especially 
on our team where we literally have like four. <laughs> All right, defense back out on the field, and hopefully we can recreate the success. It's not going to be this time around, but decent run from Kenyon Drake on first. All right, so we got third and six now, still at the 26-yard line. Let's see if we can get some pressure here. It's going to be... Almost looked like it was going to be a screen, but no! Pierre Desir with another pick, and this time he's going all the way. That's what I'm talking about, baby. There we go. Pierre Desir coming up huge. He might have a uh, breakout scenario next week. Two picks in the game, one for a pick six. That is fantastic. We take a quick lead now, 21-10, to 10, within a span of a few minutes. All right, they got no running backs here with the Cardinals back out on uh, offense. And quick throw to Max Williams. That's uh, quite a few. It's going to be second and short. And we're going right back to man coverage here. I don't know how I feel about that. Get there, Quinnen. Oh, my God. Larry Fitzgerald was naked. And Kyler just missed the throw, thankfully. Bringing some pressure here on third and two. Can we get to Kyler Mert? Oh, my God. Well, that didn't go well. Christian Kirk, with nobody near him whatsoever, gets a 68, was it 68-yard touchdown? And just like that, Cardinals are right back in it. It's, uh, it's, it's a ball game. We're starting from the 25 after the touchback, and minute and a half to go until halftime. I think we'll run a little bit of play action here. Look for Crowder over the middle. And we got to get that off. Oh, bad throw as he was hit. But luckily, that was not picked. Definitely should have thrown it sooner. Well, we're back to this play once again. <laughs> See how it goes this time after the incompletion on first. We're going to hit Crowder early this time and big play there. Gets up to the 44-yard line. I was thinking about corner routes, but they're playing off so much that it's just not going to work out. So I'm going to switch it over to slants, and uh, I don't like that. Oh, no. What is that throw, Sam? Get there, Le'Veon. Thank you. That was a just an absolutely god-awful throw from Sam Darnold. That was horrendous. Oh, God. All right. Well, they have fantastic field position now, and Kyler Murray's going to scramble for it. Avery, please. Oh, my God. All right. And just like that, the tables have turned. Kyler Murray running in for a touchdown. And it's going to put the Cardinals up by three with 33 seconds to go until the half. So offense right back on the field after that horrible, uh, horrible pass from Sam Darnold. We're looking for Herndon, and he drops the ball, unfortunately. Uh, well, that sucks. Second down. Uh, honestly, debating on just trying to run the clock out. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think we play it safe. I really do. I think we just try to run. Oh, wait. Get out of bounds. Nice. Okay. 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 <laughs> Great run by Lev. Just like that, we potentially have some life before halftime here. Oh, we do. We do have life. Call timeout. 16 seconds. We're on the 45. We could potentially tie the game. They're going to play prevent defense now? Okay. Well, I will... Uh... Hello? I will gladly run the ball then. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. There we go. Beautiful run again. Nine seconds to go. We are well within field goal range now, especially with that 99 kick power. Brett and Maher as our kicker. But let's see if we can potentially punch it in for seven. Well, six, I guess, but you know what I mean. So we probably have... We definitely have one chance at scoring a touchdown, I think. So, if this double move's not open, we're probably going to throw it away. And, yeah, we're throwing it away. 
That was, uh, yeah, that wasn't going to happen. We're going to definitely settle for the points. We're going to tie it up going into the half. And the kick is up, and it is good. So it's going to be a tight ball game at halftime. Kind of, uh, yeah, you, got, you know how I said at the beginning of the video it was a shootout when I actually played it in the PC League? Yeah, it's kind of heading in that direction here as we actually get ball at half, which I did not realize for some reason. But it's good news for us. So we'll start off on the ground. Uh, the running game's been actually pretty good. We just haven't gone to it a whole lot for some reason. Uh, Le'Veon Bell at 100 yards on only 11 attempts. We're going to start feeding him more. For sure. Run to the left here. Don't know about this, but we'll give it a go. And yeah. Uh, it's just not a great play call on that. Second and 13 there after the loss of three on first. Gonna run a play action and phew, just bad pass. Off the back foot, not ideal. Well, third and long here. Um, we're just gonna run a screen, go back to the Adam Gase days, and what the hell, dude? Like, come on, man. Come on. What was that? What was that? We're gonna have to punt after that. Good lord, dude. Oh, a fumble. Wes Austin picks it up. He outruns Isaiah Simmons. He scores. Is that going to count as a fumble? Please. Please count. <laughs> They're not getting... Let's go. Let's go. That was great. What a hit. And what a scoop. And the ability to outrun Isaiah Simmons. Of all people, man, that was luck, <laughs> entirely luck. But uh, I'm not going to complain about that whatsoever. So Kyler Murray's back out, and instead of having a really good opportunity to take the lead, he's now down by seven after that just great play on the special teams there. And off to Kenyon Drake on first down, gains about four. I think we're just going to keep running man. It seems to be working fairly well, aside from when stuff like that happens. We're back to man here. They're at about midfield. Let's see. We just... Oh, my God. What a juke. And what a broken tackle. But uh, Steve McClendon there to clean it up loses a yard. That, honestly, when stuff like that starts happening, that's when you get scared. Because that's when you think someone's going to bust off some bullshit long run for a touchdown out of nowhere. And this looks like a low-key might be an end around. It's not, but Avery Williamson is there for the sack. That could have gone very poorly, but uh, luckily it was a play-action pass there. So it's going to be third and very long. We're going to go back to man coverage here from the 35. And this should end up being a punt, I would imagine. But you never know. Oh! Oh, what a catch. Brian Poole couldn't get the pick and couldn't make a play on the ball, but what a catch from Christian Kirk. Are they really going to punt? Fourth and one. Wow. I'm genuinely surprised they're going to punt that. I would not. What a terrible punt. That might be the worst punt I've ever seen. Put us on our 27-yard line. That was... How many yards is that? I can't do math. That was a 24-yard punt with the wind. Oh, my goodness. Well, <laughs> our offense is back on the field from the 27. We're going to start it off on the ground once again and tries to truck a man but can't escape Byron Murphy. Once again, man, Byron Murphy is really playing pretty well in this game. Going to go slants here. I feel like they've kind of figured out our, uh, never mind. I feel like they've kind of figured out our cheesy run play that we do, but uh, Chandler Jones, it's just doing Chandler Jones things. So I guess we'll try the screen pass again because Levy, last time Le'Veon Bell had nothing but open field in front of him. Just could not come up with the catch. This time he does and can't quite get the first up to the 35. Five, it's not going to be enough. Fourth and two. 
I think we punt. I don't think we go for it. We're only at our 35. We're up seven. I think in this situation, you got to punt it. Um, hopefully we get a little bit of a better punt than the Cardinals did. And it looks like we will bless Austin with a really good shot at Patrick Peterson too. And he breaks the tackle. Well, overall, not too bad. They start at the 28. Kyler Murray is back out on the field and man, Kyler Murray is freaking good. He is really good. Aside from those two picks, he's got three total touchdowns on the day. So second and one from the 36. Murray drops back. Can't get to the quarterback in time, but it is enough to force a bad pass. So third and one here. Let's send a blitz and hopefully not leave a man wide open down the field. And we don't have to because Kenyon Drake breaks a long one. And that's unfortunate. It was really unfortunate. Brian Poole had a legit chance to tackle him. And not sure what exactly happened, but he got stuck up in a bad uh, block animation there with DeAndre Hopkins. So the Cardinals tied the game up once again at 31. Well, we got three and a half minutes to go in the third quarter, starting from our 25. Game is all tied up once again and just no blocking on the halfback draw there. No blocking whatsoever. I'm going to look for a short pass here, I think. We'll see. Looks like they have no linebackers over the middle. Oh, I should not have done that. I should not have done that. That easily could have been picked. Sam Darnold and myself not having a good game. Only completed 50% of our passes so far. Big third down here. Third and 10. Haven't been able to get anything going on this drive yet. We'll see if... Uh, oh, yeah. Chris Herndon. There we go. There we go. Big first down there, up to their half of the field, onto the 49, and the drive is still alive, most importantly. First and 10 from the Cardinal territory, and let's dump it off to Le'Veon, and he's going to get a first, so not bad. We'll run a play action here on first and 10, and uh, I should have just... Uh, man, I just saw Brashad Perryman. Had Byron Murphy beat. Could have been a touchdown had I looked his direction. All right, we got Crowder on the drag. Oh, God. I. Huh? <laughs> what? Chandler Jones just took it from him. First of all, I should have thrown that away. Second of all, watch this. This is a Jamal Adams type play. Jamal Adams actually did this last season. He just took the ball from Sam Darnold. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's crazy. That's going to be the thumbnail right there. Right there. Jeez, man, that. Oof. Yikes. That's not good. That really is not good. About all I have to say about that at this point. Cardinals take over after that strange play. And Kenyon Drake, another decent run on first down. He's, I mean, aside from that long run, he hasn't done a lot. Which at least is something. It's good. Uh, I kind of thought our run defense wasn't great to start the game. But now it looks like our defense as a whole is not great. As they get a first up to the 26. Oh, no. Uh, how do I get out of this? Oh, God. I'm player locked. Dude, what the hell? What did I press? What did I press? Tell me it's not... Okay, thank God. Oh, my God. All right, we're run committing here from the 15. Are they going to get it off before the end of the quarter? They will not. So, start of the fourth, and the Cardinals look like they're probably going to take the lead here shortly. Murray dropping back to pass. Quinnen beats his man, but hits Kenyon Drake up to the one. God, man. We just can't get back there quick enough. We got to run zone coverage here, I think. Got to. And Murray's just taking it himself. His second rushing touchdown of the day to go along with two passing touchdowns. This game is definitely a shootout. And Cardinals take the lead once again at the start of the fourth. Going to return this kick, actually, with Tony Pollard here. And only get to the 24. 24. God. That sucked. 
Coming out with slants here on first down. We're gonna hit Crowder over the middle and it gets looks like he gets enough for a first. And he does, so. Uh, let's just try to move the ball. Let's not hold on to it it's way too long once again. And oh, you know what? Chris Herndon has a chance here. Could be wide open, and he kind of was. But you know who else is wide open? Jamison Crowder, and I didn't throw it there quick enough. But Chris Herndon with a massive play up to the nine-yard line. First and goal just like that. Going to go to the ground here from uh, first and goal at the nine. And, oh my gosh, man. Had a chance. What is the timeout? I'm confused. I don't know why there was a timeout. Is there like TV timeouts in Madden now? Or did Le'Veon Bell just get injured? I guess he must have because Frank Gore is in the game now for some reason. Frank Gore, though. Gets in the end zone. So, you know what? It worked out. That's fine. We're uh, going to tie the game back up. Yeah, Le'Veon Bell did get hurt there. Abdominal strain should return soon. We'll keep him in the game. That's fine. Cardinals back out on offense here. Once again with a tight ball game here. And once again, it's a shootout. Quinnen Williams, though, with a good play there on first to stop the run for only a gain of one. See what they do on second and nine here. We're gonna run a little bit of a delayed handoff. And who was that? That was Peanut. Peanut making a good play. Losing two yards. Gonna be third and long. We're gonna go back to man coverage. Let's stay on Quinnen. See if we can get back there and uh, get some pressure for once. Say that like we haven't done that a single time this game. We have, but has not been consistent. And you know what? Oh, Avery almost got there, and he is going to wrap up Kyler Murray's. Uh, Brian Poole also got back there. They combined for the sack. It's going to be fourth and 13. They're going to have to punt. So hopefully our offense will have a uh, good situation to start out with here. Let's see what the punt's going to be like. Better than the last one. Not a great return, but we will start from the 37. Go back to the ground here. Le'Veon Bell already back in the game. And we're going to... Oh, just not fast enough. Had to cut it left there. Just not quick enough to hit that. We're going to slants here once again on second and eight. And... Oh, there we go. No! Oh, no. Sam, dude. Oh, my God. That should have been picked. It should have. It literally bounced off the guy's chest. <sighs> you know, I, I really enjoy how four verts seems to work once again. And we're not going to have a chance. At, you know what? I was going to throw it to Brashad Perryman on the slant. Probably would have been picked, to be quite honest. We're going to have to punt it right back, unfortunately. So, uh, Never want to give an explosive offense the ball right back that quickly. Arizona's offense back out from the 25, and my control freaks are falling off. That's not good. Good job, CPU defense. Thanks for helping me out there. That, <laughs> that wasn't ideal. Only a gain of one, though. Uh, our team kind of stepping up there to pick up my slack with the uh, control freak falling off there, but... Second and nine, Kyler Murray dropping back to pass. Hits Christian Kirk for the first down. Going to hand it off to Kenyon Drake, and Brian Poole is going to wrap him up for a loss of two. Good play by Brian Poole to get off the block there, too. Back to second down. Another delayed handoff, and Patrick Onwasu, I think is how you actually say his name, makes another stop. So third and long once again. And uh, can we get back-to-back -back stops on this team? I don't know if we have yet. Not that I've really paid attention to that, but this would be big because obviously our last offensive possession did not go well. And okay. Okay. It is going to be a stop. Brian Poole with a great play to knock that ball out. Fourth and 12. They're going to have to punt. Three minutes to go until the end of the game. We're still all tied at 38. This has been a hell of a game, man. 
We'll start it on the ground as we usually do. We're gonna cut up the middle and just couldn't get the block in time on Devontae Campbell. We do gain four though, which is nice. Um, you know what? You know what? I like it. It's probably not gonna work whatsoever, but I like it. We're gonna run a jet sweep here. Denzel Mims, what can you do, dude? Oh my God. <sighs> just couldn't catch the edge. Lose two yards. But uh, Chandler Jones almost blew that up instantly. We go back to a screen on third and eight. And looks good. Looks really good. Le'Veon Bell's going to get the first. He's running. V oh, my God. I thought he fumbled. I really did. But uh, he's running very slowly. I don't know if he's actually still hurt or what there, but he's looking slow, man. I might actually take him out because that's not going to get it done for us. Oh, that's going to be a face mask on Crowder there. It's going to be 15 yards downfield. There we go. So I did actually take out. Huh? I just took you out, dude. He, he's just refusing to come out, I guess. But I actually like this slant to Perryman. I was going to run a counter with Tony Pollard, but uh, Le'Veon decided he wanted to stay in the game. And we're going to run for it with si I hate this game. I don't know how we recover the fumble, but thank God for Alex Lewis because I'm trying to slide and for some reason I'm celebrating. <laughs> but now Tony Pollard comes in the game and we're going to run it with him and he gets quite a bit there. There's such a difference between Tony Pollard's speed and Le'Veon Bell. But speak of the devil and he finds his way back in the ball game and hand it off to him. We're going to try to run the clock a little bit. We'll see. How many timeouts do they got? They have one left. So we potentially could just run the clock here and kick a field goal. But we'll see. Definitely trying to play for the win. But Tony Pollard is going to find his way into the end zone with that speed. And we take the lead. Very, very late. They get the ball back with a minute 16 to go in one timeout. Try to tie it up here. All right, can Kyler Murray tie the game in clutch time here? A minute 16 to go, starting from the 25. He's going to drop back to pass here. Going to hit Larry Fitzgerald over the middle. They're probably going to hurry up here, and they do. Going to stay in man, and that's not good. But, oh, that's really not good. Peanut almost got back there to deflect the pass. Pierre Desir comes up with the tackle, but not until Kenyon Drake gets all the way down to the 34. And another quick throw to Kenyon Drake. It, I'm spitting everywhere. I just, uh. We're calling a, did they call a timeout? I was going to call a timeout. Oh, my goodness. We should have called timeout much earlier than we did, honestly. Because they torched us, and he somehow gets to Larry Fitzgerald for the touchdown. I asked the question if Kyler Murray could lead the team to tie it in crunch time, and the answer is yes. Uh, quite a shootout here. It's going to be a tie game with 11 seconds left. We do have all three timeouts, but it's only 11 seconds, so this game might be going to OT. Tony Pollard is going to return it here. Hopefully he can get something good, and he can't, so it's going to give us seven seconds from our 26. That's rough. That's not what I wanted to do, but you know what? This will work. We're going to take a shot. We're going to look either Perryman or Mims, more than likely. Whoever can beat their man, and it's going to be neither of them. We'll take a timeout. We'll take a timeout. One second to go. I want to take my shot. I want to see if somehow a miracle can happen and we don't go to OT. It's not likely to happen, but you know what? We'll give it a shot. Uh, I'm probably just going to throw it up to Mims here and see what happens. Couldn't get it off, and that's going to be picked, and don't you dare. Oh, no. Uh, 
I I don't want to talk about it. I really don't want to talk about it. Uh, kids, that's why you play smart and not aggressive and greedy like I just did. Uh, we lose the game. Well, <laughs> I am speechless. Uh, you guys just saw the uh, the team stat comparison there on the screen. I didn't even really notice it. Uh, I'm shocked. I am completely shocked, but not surprised. Not surprised. So, uh, yikes, man. <laughs> what? A, honestly, what a game, but what a just heartbreaking way to end. And it was all because I was being stupid. I should have just let the clock run out there. Uh, anyway, not a great game from Sam. Obviously, one of those picks was at the end there. Got hit as he threw it, and you guys know what happened. Uh, running the ball, Le'Veon Bell was pretty good. Couldn't get in the end zone, got hurt. Obviously, hopefully that's not going to linger. Tony Pollard with, uh, quite a touchdown there at the end, but didn't matter. And old man Frank Gore even got in the end zone. Speaking of getting in the end zone, Chris Herndon had himself a game. Might possibly see a breakout scenario for him next week. That would be fantastic. He allowed three sacks on the day from Chuma Yudoga and Alex Lewis. And Brian Poole was our leading tackler with 14 which is pretty bad for the rest of the team. Had two sacks on the day. Avery Williamson had one and a half. Brian Poole combined with him for the other one. And Pierre Desir, obviously, with those two picks. Also had a pick six, so maybe he'll break out. Not that it really matters because the guy's like 29 anyway. So we fall to three and two on the season after that just heartbreaking loss. <laughs> Oh, uh, man. Um, let's take a quick look at the injury report, and then we'll hop on out of here. It looks like C.J. Mosley and uh, Le'Veon Bell are not going to be out for an extended period of time. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and advance the week. I'm curious to see if we're going to get any breakout scenarios. We don't. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. But in next episode, we'll be taking on the L.A. Chargers. In SoFi Stadium, should be good. Hopefully, I'll play a little bit smarter next time. Uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Once again, if you guys did, I would really, really appreciate a like. And if you guys are new, hit the sub button as well. Um, man, I whew, that end of that end of that game, man. End of that game. That's tough. That is really tough. But that's gonna do it for me. I will see you guys in the next one.